So it's first down from the 15 for the Vikings. Dill going deep. He's got a man open. Leo Lewis oh. is making the count, and he is hauled down by Leslie Frazier at the Bears' 42-yard line. An interference penalty will give the Vikings a first down in Bears territory. Frazier napping on the opening play. First down, swing pass, a lot of blockers in front of Nelson. Nelson picks up about nine. The ball comes loose, but after the whistle is blown, Otis Wilson made the tackle. In two for the Vikings. One setback, and it is Galbraith, number 20, uh, 32, Tony Galbraith, who was trying for the first down and appears to have gained it. Three wide receivers, Lewis, Jones, and LeCount. They give it oh. to Galbraith. Big hole up the middle. Another first down, and he's into the 18-yard line of Chicago. Gary Fenton made the tackle. His first in some time, having been out of action with the groin injury. Five is right up on the line also. Galbraith goes in motion. Everybody's out of there, and Dills, under pressure, rolling right. Got it off complete. That is Leo Lewis. And it looks like he has a first down at the eight-yard line. Darren Nelson nowhere to go. And a good tackle deep in the backfield by Todd Bell, number 25, will drop the Vikings back outside the 15 to the 17-yard line. Might have been Dent. So it is third and goal, and the Vikings picked up an easy five on the penalty. In motion comes Jones back to the slot. Bill's getting time, flares it out, it is incomplete. Galbraith tried to reach out for the ball as though he wanted to cut back in inside Mike Singletary, who was covering him, and he really needed to take one more step to get to the ball. That yard line, a 30-yard attempt for Ricardo. And it is good. So the Vikings roll 72 yards with their opening series and pick up the first three points of the game. And we have 10 minutes, 11 seconds remaining in the first quarter in this all-important game for the Vikings and the Bears. Minnesota on top. Richard Rufus Best waiting for it at the 35 of Minnesota. Zachowitz, a former Green Bay Packer, hits a good punt. High. Coming down to Leo Lewis, who bobbles, but now has running room. <laughs> he lost his shoe. Lewis all the way to the 26-yard line. Dennis Gentry right there, number 29, and there goes Lewis right up the middle. Let's see where that shoe comes out. Does he run right out of it? He did. He ran right out of it. Nobody even hit him. Emory Moore hit on the tackle. The Vikings threatening once again. 34-yard punt for Sherwood, who got burned on his first punt as a bear. It surely was not his fault. Made a good kick. Rolling on first down, Dills up the middle, wide open Brewer. And he has a Viking first down to the 11-yard line. Gary Fentick made the tackle. Team level. <laughs> got to get it by the big guys. So far, he's doing it well. Third down. He's got time. Intended for Brewer, one of his taller targets. And he overthrew it. And fourth down from the 19-yard line. And Benny Ricardo pops it through with a 29-yarder. And the Vikings... They've jumped into a 6-0 lead. We still have 6.43 remaining in the first quarter. Taking the lead. First down. Lions need a victory to clinch the NFC Central. Flair pass. And it's Zooey to Peyton wide open. Walter Peyton in a sprint to the end zone. One man can catch a man. He is in. Touchdown, Walter Peyton. Well, Matt Suey. And it turned out that that was a lateral, and it made it look like a pass, and as long as he's parallel with the quarterback, it is a lateral. He takes the swing pass out here, and McMahon throws it out there, and it is a lateral. Indeed, everybody forgot about it, and uh, Suey just runs. He took off running and then throws the ball down there, just like Walter Payton does, who has three touchdown passes. And then Payton <laughs> turns it on towards the end zone. Little straight arm right here to get him his couple of extra steps. And he goes into the end zone. Touchdown, Walter Payton, Chicago Bears. An unlikely passing combination, <laughs> if you've ever heard of one. Number 26, the Penn State fullback to Walter Payton. Nothing today in the second period. We'll be tracking that one. It affects the wild card situation. A Ken Stabler pass for a touchdown. Fourth down and Greg Coleman for the Vikings. Kicks it to McKinnon at the Bears 35. 
Dennis McKinnon, a good return into Vikings territory at the 49 where Fred McNeil hauled him down. Of course, McKinnon will be treated with a new respect. He ran one back 53 last week. First down at the 49-yard line of Minnesota. Lead seven to six. Moorhead in motion to pitch to Suey. Suey with a good hole and a fine block running hard for a first down to the 31-yard line. Becker and Moorhead and Peyton all involved in the blocking over there. Tom Hannon made the tackle. Well executed play by the Bears. On this third and 10 as the Vikings are looking for pass. Three wide receivers. The man up into the pocket now takes off and he is met by the safety Joey Browner number 47 and uh, stopped short of the first down at the 25 yard line and a 43 yard attempt for Thomas. He is 11 of 20 and has not been all that effective uh, beyond 40 yards. Well he's kicking indoors today. Let's see if it helps him. It does. Bob Thomas with a 42 yard field goal officially. And so the Chicago Bears got three out of it as the Vikings stopped them at the 25. Second and seven. In motion goes Leo Lewis. Dills finds himself some room and gets to Brewer. First down. Bob Brewer one on one against Mike Singletary. And Dills did a fine job of picking up his secondary receiver. If indeed he was the secondary receiver, it looked like he was looking farther downfield. Good thing with a sore ankle today. He's in now with Lewis and the rookie Mike Jones. Great drop for Dills. Pressure from the Bears. And the pass was deflected. And diving for an intercept try was Terry Schmidt, number 44. But it was Steve McMichael, number 76, who got the hand on the football. One tight end, so you might expect him to throw the ball here. They pitch to Peyton. Shakes off one man and has the first down. 22 yard line. It was Dennis Johnson who had a chance to catch him behind the line, but Tom Hannon had to make the tackle upfield. Crowd uh, whistling at the cheerleaders. You're wondering, and there's a sack and a loose ball, but he manages to hold on. Pressure by Doug Martin, number 79, catching Jim McMahon back at the 13 yard line of Chicago. College basketball follows North Carolina State and Louisville. Stackowitz punt taken at the 32 yard line by Leo Lewis. Lewis has had one long punt return but not this time as they drop him at the 40 yard line. Brian Cabral number 54. This says we are back at the Metrodome outside here in Minnesota. Actually kind of warm day about 32 degrees with snow falling. Door 68. Darren Nelson picks up about Eight, maybe nine, as they will move it out to the 49-yard line of Minnesota with Al Harris making the tackle. And now also, the Bears only have the wild card chance. So it's at New Orleans, San Francisco. Those two games are important to the Bears. Pass up the middle is complete for the first down to Galbraith. Dills dropped back almost to the original line of scrimmage. Play at linebacker today, his second start that position this season. Play action, fake pitch out, and wide open the tight end, Brewer, and he's still going. First down, Brewer, to the 20-yard line of the Bears. For the Vikings. Jordan in motion behind the ball. Nelson is caught from behind by Dent, number 95, the rookie starting for the injured Dan Hampton at right defensive end. And in defensively on third and long for the Vikings, and the blitz comes up with a sack. It is Richard Dent. Terry Schmidt was blitzing from the corner position, but the quick-footed defensive end got there ahead of Schmidt. Good guy. Might be a little out of his range. We'll find out. Not today it isn't. Not wide. It was wide. He had the leg for sure, but he missed it wide. Benny Ricardo. So the Vikings come up empty with 10-04 remaining in the first half. The big... It is first down for Chicago. McMahon is one of five at this point in the game. And there's a little inside handoff to Suey. He's got running room and a first down. Matt Suey. I think he's starting to believe he's Walter Payton. He has really been running well this season. Willie, the wide pro set. Give us to Payton. He's got Becker in front of him. Cutting it back inside over the 50. Picks up about 
seven, maybe eight yards, depending on the spot. They'll put it at the 49-yard line of Minnesota. John Turner, the safety man, number 27. Van Horn has come in for Andy Frederick at right tackle for the Bears on second and two. And Peyton's got a lot of running room. Has the first down to the 41-yard line of the being the first man to break Brown's record. Gain of only a yard, second and nine. Suey has a good hole. Matt Suey crashes over the 30 to the 26-yard line where Hannon made the tackle uh, after the trip up by Johnny Turner. He had problems last week against Green Bay. It's been restored. And this is Peyton trying to turn the corner. Picks up about four. He's tripped up by Elshire, number 73, the right defensive end. For fans of uh, Marshall College, we certainly like his defense thus far. And he'll run again. Suey. This time, Fred McNeil played off the block of Walter Payton and did an effective job, but Suey, with his battering style, picks up about three, maybe four yards. Moorhead, now he's in motion. And it's play action, good fake. The pass for Moorhead just off the mark with Hannon chasing him on the coverage. And McMahon, who can really hide that football in a nonchalant style, almost had himself a touchdown pass to Moorhead, but a kick the field goal. Thomas from the 26-yard line will be a 36-yard attempt. And it is wide to the right. So Ricardo and Thomas are running into problems with the uh, air conditioning or the heating in here. Steve Dills brings out the Vikings. Nelson in motion, play action to make the red one almost intercepted by Singletary. It was intended for Darren Nelson, number 20, and Singletary ranging back from the middle linebacker position nearly had himself an intercept. Number 23. They fake the pass to him, the gift to Nelson. The Bears did not buy it. Mike Hartenstein, number 73, was in exactly the right place. Nelson ran right into him. 16. Slot formation right for the Vikings. They dropped the field this time. Up the middle, he's got a man open, and it's out to the 30-yard line for Mike Jones and will be very close to the first down, depending on the spot. Gills might have dug himself out of there with the rookie, Mike Jones. From is, and it looks like uh, he is a touch short. Half, but as you say, Tim, what do you got to lose? Exactly. Right? A division title. <laughs> yeah, right. they got to they go for it. Ricky Young is in the lineup. In motion, the tight end Brewer. They give it to Ted Brown, and he has the first down. Brown's first carry back from his injury. Good. wants to go. Quick drop, and it's complete. Leo Lewis, number 87, has a first down at the 44-yard line. Perfectly timed pass play. Long and Leo Lewis delivering here against the Bears. 2.04 remaining in the first half. Hills has a man open in the middle. Ted Brown for a first down of the Vikings to the 34-yard line. Gary Fensick and Leslie Frazier combining on the tackle. And Frazier and Leslie Frazier both uh, creating a timeout situation. Frazier was helped off the field, and it is intercepted. Gary Fensick, the first turnover of this half. Gary Fensick. Picking off the pass from Steve Dills. Stills. He's just watching Dills, watching the quarterback. LeCount comes across. He has a step on his man there. But there was Fensick just to uh, come in, make the interception. The first one for him in a long time because he hasn't played. Gary Fensick back in action. So the Bears will take opportunity. They have the football and the lead. 147 to play first half. Play action. The man deep. For Willie Gold, and there'll be interference call. Not much question about that one either. I believe it was Carl Lee, number 39. Hands up. But he's Pass interference, 39, defense, first down. Elected to play it safe as the ball was coming down, and safe turned into a, an interference penalty. So the Bears threatening again. Walter Payton up the left side, cuts it inside over the 10 to the 9-yard line where Scott Studwell, number 55, made the stop. And Suey in the backfield. One minute remaining first half. McMahon gets it off to Matt Suey. Suey gets to the five-yard line. It appears he will be short of the first down. Fred McNeil made the tackle. 
to provide the power blocking, and that's the way to go. Four hit in motion. Suey has a good hole and has the first down, stopped short of the touchdown. And it was Matt Blair and Willie Teal who made the tackle. And now Peyton in motion off the wing. Fake to Suey, and they lob it up for a Moorhead touchdown. Well, a little more razzle-dazzle than you might expect on a first down from the three-yard line, but it paid off. Yep, that's Metro Dome, where it's nice and comfortable indoors today as uh, Minnesota actually outdoors almost balmy for this time of year. When we arrived on Friday, it was five degrees, but it's 32 and snowing. Team of six. Both these teams needing to win today and next week. For any playoff opportunity, Walter Payton barreling straight ahead. Picks up about team job is concerned and Dicta says it was disloyal and said uh, you're going to be cut. Uh-oh. Dakowitz upon his block. It's a loose ball bouncing into the end zone recovered by the Vikings with a Steve Jordan number 83. Is it a touchdown? Evidently not. To have a knack for blocking kicks. One, two. It looked like he took the proper amount of steps. There was just a whole bunch of Minnesota Vikings got through and there it was on the ground and it was Steve Jordan. Steve Jordan who got the ball. You talk about a turnaround and a big break for the Vikings. They're right down at the one yard line. He was down at the one even though he rolled into the end zone. They ruled him down. On the loose ball and that is Ted Brown and he has a touchdown. So the Vikings strike quickly to begin the second half. A block punt. And a touchdown run by Ted Brown off his one game suspension. A sore shoulder well enough to tell the close football game with that missed point after now uh, staring the Bears right in the face. It is a three point margin Chicago in front. In the lead starting from their own 27 yard line. The pitch out to Walter Payton. Payton has a good hole and a block from Covert. And a first down it would appear all the way out near the 40 yard line his or was changed whatever second and eight and has a man open that's Peyton and Peyton trying to get to the first down marker Joey Browner forced him out it'll be yes a Chicago first down right at midfield so he could have been reacting to an audible yeah. call that McMahon called and and then it's uh, about the middle of the second period we don't know if Turner is hurt, hurt at all McMahon complete to Peyton again the same pattern and He's driven out this time by the linebacker McNeil, number 54, after a gain of six, maybe six and a half yards. On second and four, and they give it to the tight end, Moorhead. Moorhead breaks off one tackle and has himself a first down. Well, he spun and turned like the running back he once was. Four down lineman again for the Vikings. And Suey. And Suey will be stopped short of the first down. Double hitter game today on CBS. Suey takes it upfield and he has the first down to the 25 yard line tripped up by Tommy Hannon number 45. Two remaining third quarter. Suey trying to find an opening cuts it back beautifully and gets inside close to the 10. And another Bears first down Hannon pulled him down there and Suey apparently hurt a little bit on the play. Fire up the Vikings defense. Take the pitch and go to Suey. Suey barrels his way to the five yard line. Straightened up at that point. Several Vikings are there, but number 72, James Duck White. They get in again. Suey cuts it back, takes it outside, and he is really hit by Willie Keel, the cornerback. A nice piece of running by Suey, it appeared, until all of a sudden the cornerback, 195 pound Willie Teal, really. Put a shoulder into him. Peyton in motion. Pitch out Suey. A block from Peyton. Suey gets to the one yard line, not to the end zone, but he would appear to have a first down. White. First and goal for the Chicago Bears from the one yard line. Peyton is pulled down from behind as he tried to leap up sideways. Vikings say there's a loose ball, and it was Doug Martin with a very great show of quickness leaping in and grabbing Peyton as he was diving. Martin got him by the leg and hauled him back. Nope. Suey has stopped. That Suey has stopped as the Vikings got excellent penetration. You can see Blue Jersey Vikings in the...
Watch out for this one. Flag down. Delay a game against the Chicago field day with this one. I'm sure McMahon is complaining that, hey, the noise, I had to go a little bit slower because I couldn't hear, and that took up some of the time. With the clock formation left. Suey in motion. Quick pass oh. for Willie oh. Galt. Nowhere to go. 15-yard line, a 23-yard try at an angle from the hash mark. He has it. Well, they got their three, but uh, they got it the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> Took a long time, almost five minutes of the third, fourth quarter. Yeah, the they got it. Minnesota Vikings with a goal line stand. Surrendered the field goal, but not the major score. 25-yard line, Steve Dills will try to get him moving. And he's running into traffic. Steve McMichael, he got away from him and still has to take the sack as up came linebacker Gary Campbell into the game for the first time today. It's down and 12. Out of the shotgun, Dills getting time. Fires it up the middle complete to the rookie Jones and he is short of the first down as he's dropped by Gary Fensick, number 45. 35-yard line, 8.50 remaining. Dills. They give it to Galbraith, and it appears that he has it. He's met by Singletary. Yes, he does. Spottage of the ball where the official is would indicate a Vikings first down. Darren Nelson, the running back. Remember, Brown left with a pinched nerve injury in his neck. Dills hits the tight end. Brewer, what a good catch. Dave Dewerson tried to strip the ball away from Brewer, and the big tight end hung on for another Viking first down, it would appear to keep the drive going 718 on the clock they're down by six Nelson in motion Hills forced out the pass oh. complete loose ball Hardy McDowell made the catch and then dropped the football and it may be a Bears ball let's wait and see the Chicago Bears say they have it McDowell made a good catch over there but then fumbled the ball on the hit and look at this pile up there. Striped shirts in there trying to sort out who's got it. And whoever has it better hang on to it because you can steal that ball underneath the pile up. And if you've got it when everybody unpiles, it's your ball. It is Chicago ball. Recovered the fumble by Marty McDowell. Bears football. They lead by six. Payton gets loose down the sideline, has a first down in Vikings territory at the 49. Play in the Vikings fortunes. The man running out of time. He is sacked by Randy Holloway, number 75. A loss of four yards on the play. So the Vikings defense. Vikings out of the shotgun inside handout to Peyton, and the Vikings were expecting it, but he gets loose. And however, he is going to be well short of first down yardage. Long count. Oh, and here they come. They blocked it again. Two blocks by the Vikings. Steve Jordan has the ball. And it may have been Jordan who blocked the punt. It was either Jordan or Rick Bell, number 33. And run. So that can happen. Second and 20 out of the shotgun. Uh-oh. The blitz and Singletary on Dills, who just was able to get the ball. Dills dropped the football and was lucky that he got enough of a bounce to cover it before Singletary covered it. For a go-ahead score, and instead they're third and 31, and they are back now in their own territory. Hill's going deep for Jones and McDowell, everybody. Oh, and he's caught by Mike Jones. Mike Jones, the rookie from Tennessee State, first down at the six-yard line of Chicago. A big factor now. Ricky Young got to about the five with forward progress for a pickup of a couple. Bensick was there. Wilson was there. Gary Campbell, number 59, made the primary. Remaining third and goal from the five-yard line. Both teams must have the win today and again next week. Galbraith. Picks up about two. Gary Campbell make the tackle, and it brings up fourth down. Make it uh, that Ted Brown was Ted Brown. Ted Brown, the ball carrier, who had his shoulder pads off earlier. So the Vikings are the key team, and the key play is right here. And it is blocked. 
It was Mike Singletary crashing in on top of Steve Bills, and there is a happy young linebacker who's going to keep that football. And some of you will be seeing that Tampa Bay Detroit game next Sunday. Here's Peyton, and he has the first down, and down the sideline, he lost his balance. He gets over the 30-yard line. A big gain by Peyton, and nearly went the distance, and Walter Peyton a little slow to get up here. Along from the Metrodome, I'm Tim Ryan for Johnny Morris, where our final score, the Chicago Bears, 19, the Minnesota Vikings, 13. Coming up next, the Washington.